We're in a winter storm, and here we are in Palmer, Alaska, at the muskox farm. I'm going to see a real live muskox. They have a herd of about 90, and we're going to see Little Man, a very tame, wonderful, old man muskox, who looks pretty glad to see me, and Mark Austin, the director of the farm. I've been painting muskox all year. I hope you like my character, Cozy. He's very fluffy. Cozy by Jan Brett. Dedication for Leah, Tom, Torn, and Brian Koloski, my Alaskan family. Thank you to Mark Austin and all the friends at the muskox farm in Palmer, Alaska. Storms rolled over the tundra when Cozy the muskox was separated from his herd. He was used to being with his family. His mother and father had named him Cozy because his silky coat was so soft and thick. Cozy braced himself against the wind and his thick coat warmed him like a blanket. In a tussock, a mother lemming's pups were squeaking loudly. I'm cold, I'm cold, I'm very, very cold. She used a triple carry to tunnel them towards a new spot where she saw a towering mountain of fur. In no time, the lemming family settled in next to Cozy's left hoof. Shh, she whispered. Quiet voices and that muskox will never notice us. Snowshoe Hare, feeling chilly, had the same idea. M Master Muskox, he asked politely, may I wait out the storm under the protection of your very thick coat? Cozy was happy for the company and well aware that a lemming family had snuck in. He said, welcome Snowshoe Hare, but mind those lemmings and quiet voices and gentle thumping only. Snow swirled and <coughs> suddenly all grew white. Was it a clump of snow that had hit Cozy on the forehead? No, it was feathers. When Cozy opened his eyes, he was looking into big yellow ones. The eyes belonged to a snowy owl who also had a request. Oh, magnificent Ooming Mac, would you be so kind as to give me shelter? The wind has tumbled me terribly. Cozy knew that snowy owls and lemmings and snowshoe hares were not always fast friends, but he agreed with some conditions. House rules are quiet voices, gentle thumping, Claws to yourself. Arctic Fox's nose was turning blue. Her bushy tail wasn't warm enough, and every time she wrapped it around herself, the wind unwrapped it. Thinking Cozy would make a good windbreak, she sidled up to him. Do you mind, Mr. Musk Ox, if I unfreeze my nose in your thick fluff? Cozy was happy to welcome a new guest, but eyeing her sharp canines, he answered. For the harmony of all, quiet voices, gentle thumping, claws to yourself, and no biting. As winter went by, the storms grew worse. The wind blew and blew, and a low, humpy shape appeared, swaying and shuffling. Its coat was covered with ice balls. Shaggy beast, it growled. I fell into an ice floe, and I'm chilled to the bone. Can you help me? C 
Cozy was happy to invite the Wolverine in, but added to the house rules. Quiet voices, gentle thumping, claws to yourself, no biting, and no pouncing. Cozy's new friends cleaned their coats, preened their feathers, napped, and were glad for their comfy shelter. But then, above the wind, the animals heard, Yip, 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 yip! A team of huskies, always on the lookout for a good thing, barreled into Cozy's big bulk, flinging the creatures in all directions. Their musher, a sea otter, looked on in dismay. Hi, the lead dog grinned. House rules, chorused the jostled lemmings, snowshoe hare, snowy owl, arctic fox, and wolverine. Quiet voices, gentle thumping, claws to yourself, no biting, no pouncing, and be mindful of others. Cozy, leaning towards the lead dog, who looked a lot like a wolf, shook, shook, shook his horns to make sure the huskies understood. As time went by, the wind calmed a little, and the Arctic sun climbed higher in the sky. The animals felt more at home every day, but Cozy had spring fever. I want to find my family. How can I move about with all these visitors underfoot? The house rules were stretched every day. When was a nibble a bite? When was a hoot quiet or loud? There was bumping, making faces, and no one was saying, I'm sorry. One sunny day, the lemmings were playing Climb the Ladder. A great chunk of Cozy's coat came off. Then another hank came off in Owl's talons. Cozy remembered this from last year. Shedding meant it was finally spring in Alaska. Hank by hank, all of Cozy's warm, silky winter coat drifted away down the slope. Cozy's lodgers started heading to their spring homes. Cozy hadn't felt so free and breezy since he was a calf. He jumped, he gambled, and then, in the middle of a gleeful leap, he saw his herd. They all formed a circle babies in the middle, but Cozy felt curiously alone. Then the breeze carried squeaky and growly and whistling voices. See you next year, Cozy. Meet you when the snow flies, Cozy. The snowshoe hare thump, 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 as they all called, we can't wait to get Cozy with Cozy. The end. You may know me as the author of a retelling of The Mitten. And you know I love hedgehogs. If you look very carefully in this story, you will see a hedgehog hidden in the mosses and lichen on the rocks. So look for that. And if you want to know more about musk oxen and see the most adorable babies ever, go to the m website for the musk ox farm in Alaska. It's just amazing, these creatures. They look almost as if they came from the Pleistocene. Thank you so much for listening along.